In this video, I am going to explain muscles which do hip flexion. So I'm gonna explain hip flexor. Actually, there are many hip flexors. I am going to explain main hip flexors in first part. Number one is this muscle. This is psoas. Psoas, this is very deep muscle. This originates from lumbar spines. Yay. Number two, iliacus. Iliacus is this one. Iliacus and psoas kind of fuses together around this area. Then this becomes iliopsoas. These two muscles are very deep. There are internal organs in front of iliacus and psoas. That is why many people are not aware there are such a muscles deep to abdomen. So it's very hard to notice and how to use these two muscles. That means it's hard to use psoas and iliacus. What do I mean? Then other hip flexors need to compensate for these two muscles. That can lead to hip tightness or knee tightness. That is why adequate usage of psoas and iliacus are important for healthy hip movement. Does it make sense? Okay. Number three is this one. This is rectus femoris. Rectus femoris. This is part of quadriceps. There are four quadriceps muscles. Rectus femoris is only quadriceps muscle that can do hip flexion. Why is that? Because rectus femoris originates from pelvis. That means this muscle crosses hip joint. That is why rectus femoris can do hip flexion. Number four is this one. This is tensor fascia lata. Tensor fascia lata. Yeah, this is also important hip flexor. When tensor fascia lata got too much work, that can lead to tight hip joint and knee pain. This is very interesting muscle. I think these four muscles are main hip flexors. Other muscles are kind of accessory hip flexors. Let me explain them. Okay, number five is this thin, long muscle. This is sartorius. Sartorius. You know, this is kind of one of the longest muscles in body. As you see, this is not very big muscle. That's why this is kind of accessory hip flexor. Okay, number five, sartorius. Number six, pectineus. Pectineus, this is one of adductor muscles. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? Because adductor muscles can do flexion. Of course, main function of adductors is adduction. Of course, literally, it's adduction. But they also can do hip flexion. I think it's very interesting. Number seven, adductor brevis. Adductor brevis. And number eight, adductor longus. Adductor longus is this one. This is adductor longus. Adductor brevis is deep to adductor longus. So imagine there's adductor brevis deep to here. Adductor brevis and longus are also important. Let's say brevis, longus. These two muscles act as hip flexor 
until like uh, 70 degrees of hip flexion. But when hip joint is above 80 degrees, they work as extensor. Extensor. Until 70 degrees of flexion is flexor. So, adductor brevis and adductor longus act as flexor or extensor depends on angle of hip joint. I think this is quite interesting. Anyway, it's a flexion video today. So, adductor brevis and adductor longus are hip flexors. Okay. Number nine is very thin muscle, which is this one. It's very hard to see. This is gracilis. Gracilis. This is, I think this is the most thin and long muscle in body. It's that thin muscle as a hip muscle. Okay. Gracilis. This is part of adductor. Okay, these muscles are kind of accessory muscle, which you see from this video. I have two more muscles. Okay, this is profile view. You are looking pelvis and hip joint from lateral view, a little bit posterior. Number 10 is gluteus medius. Number 11 is Gluteus minimus, okay? Gluteus medius and gluteus minimus. Gluteus medius is this one. Gluteus minimus is deep to this muscle. Imagine gluteus minimus is like this. How come lateral part of hip muscle can do flexion? Okay, the midline of pelvis and hip joint is like this. Okay, this is midline. This is anterior part. This is posterior part. When anterior part contracts, that brings hip joint this way. What is this? This is flexion, right? By the way, when posterior part contracts, that brings hip joint this way. This is extension, right? So, gluteus medius and gluteus minimus can do flexion and extension. It's like adductor brevis and adductor longus, right? They have a two opposite function. Depends on location, depends on angle, right? So, these are hip flexors. I listed 11 muscles. That's a lot, right? There are 11 muscles which can do hip flexion. I think understanding... Um, Muscle movement is important for joint movement. If you like today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.